Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So autumn is my absolute favorite reading season just because the days are getting shorter and it's darker, colder and wetter outside and everyone starts recommending mysteries and thrillers which is a genre I absolutely love and just can get lost in perfectly. And after watching other people present their favorite thrillers and mysteries I just thought I'd jump into the mix and bring up three of my own recommendations. First book I want to recommend is I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh and whenever anyone says plot twist this is the first book I think of because the plot twist in I Let You Go is just amazing. I keep thinking back to it when I read other mystery thrillers and compare the plot twists in these new thrillers with the plot twists in I Let You Go just because for me this is the highest benchmark I could set towards a thriller or mystery novel and I have seen other books try the same thing but none of them have been able to reach just the level of perfection that I Let You Go brought to this plot twist genre. The second reason I am recommending this book is due to the setting. So the story starts off on a cold, wet, rainy November day in Bristol when five-year-old Jacob is killed in a hit and run. And after this accident our main character Jenna moves to a small coastal village in Wales where she just wants to grieve her son and leave all the negative things that have happened to her behind and just start all over again. And in a second timeline we are following two detectives who are trying to figure out who was the driver in the hit and run that killed Jacob and at some point of course these two timelines meet up. I think that I'll Let You Go is the perfect book for just lounging around on your sofa, drinking a warm cup of tea and listening to this audiobook. And usually I don't explicitly tell people to listen to the audiobook but in this case I really do just because the first half of the book is so slow. As in nothing happens we have Jenna grieving and trying to adjust to Wales and just the, the small village and then we have the two detectives who most of the time don't have any new leads and just are kind of trying to push everything in together so there's nothing happening and I re-listened to this audiobook just I think one or two weeks ago and I actually had to listen to the first half of the book at double speed just because I couldn't get through it. The second half does pick up quite a bit and there are lots of revelations and stuff going on and it moves along pretty fast kind of making up for how slow the first half is but you first have to get through this first half to be able to witness this amazing plot twist that I love so much. The second book I want to recommend is Written in Bone by Simon Beckett and this is the second book in the David Hunter series though you don't have to have read the first book to understand what's going on in Written in Bone. And David Hunter is a forensic anthropologist who is sent out to a small island off the coast of Scotland called Runa, where a body has been found. And when he goes out there, everyone is assuming that the person who isn't identified yet died in an accident. But of course, once David Hunter reaches the island, he figures out that the person was murdered. When David Hunter realizes he's looking at a murder scene, he wants to contact the mainland to get reinforcement there, but the island is cut off by a huge storm, meaning that he can't get anyone from the mainland to come in and look at this murder scene. At the same time, he realizes, of course, that he's on the small island with just a handful of people, one of whom is a murderer. What I think is kind of fun about Written in Bone is that you have this isolated island where you as a reader know and everyone who's on it. So you know that you have the same chance of figuring out who the murderer is as David Hunter has. And it's kind of has this Agatha Christie, then there was none vibe to it, which I quite enjoyed. Plus, of course, the rainy, dark atmosphere that makes this book perfect for autumn. The third book I want to talk about is not a crime thriller, but more of a psychological or horror thriller, and that is Shutter Island by Dennis Lehane. And Shutter Island is about an asylum that is on Shutter Island, which I think is off the east coast of the United States. And we are following the marshal, Teddy Daniels, who is sent to Shutter Island to find a missing patient. And this missing patient is a woman who was killed 
multiple people and is somewhere off on this island and he's supposed to figure out where she's got to and how she could get away. But as Teddy Daniels is investigating this case and getting to know the asylum better, it becomes more and more obvious that there's something dark and sinister going on. So there's just references to lobotomies and experiments being done on people and the whole atmosphere is very, very suppressive and the island is so small and everything is dark and wet and at the same time there is a hurricane pulling up so the island is also just like in written and bone cut off from the mainland and Teddy Daniels has very little time to figure out what is going on. So I saw Shutter Island as a film first and only read the book afterwards which is probably why I didn't love this book. I thought it was like, I think I put it down as a 3 to 3.5 star book just because I loved the film so much. It was high paced, it was dark, it was very visual and with creepy music and in comparison the book is a psychological thriller so it's more subtle, it builds up a lot more slowly and in the end the reveal of course makes more sense than in the film but I went into this book just expecting something high-paced and something that mirrored the style of a film and the book, as I said, is just completely different. It is also a lot more confusing with a lot more of nuances and you have Teddy's character that is going through a development or kind of evolves throughout the novel and the focus is quite a bit on that aspect and not so much on the plot that's going on around him and it's actually really really interesting but you just have to take your time and really focus on the story to get everything that the book has to offer out of it. I am planning to reread Shutter Island just to see whether I can appreciate it more without having watched the film just a couple days beforehand and whether I can get more into the psychological aspect than I could the first way around. So I'm always looking for new crime thriller recommendations, especially now with an autumnal theme. So if you have any, just leave them down in the comments below. In general, I would really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every single week and I'll see you next week. Bye!